served you right, godforsaken pest. Oh, it's you. I know you. Hello, guys and girls, and welcome back to Seven. So, it is finally time. It is time to make this tower whole again. What do we have here? Can you smell how the rock is smelling? It smells just like lava. Now, these forges, as you can see, have a bunch of rocks cooking. And to be honest, we're gonna need as much rocks as possible for this next mission we have. Today's goal is to reinforce this structure with some concrete walls and floors on which our future turrets will be placed. So we're gonna start by making a bunch of cement, because we're gonna need cement and crushed sand, if I'm not mistaken. Concrete. Concrete, no, oh shit, no, 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 concrete, concrete mix, there we go. So we're gonna need crushed sand, small stone, and cement, of course. How many cement, how much cement can we make? Let's see. <laughs> oh, okay. But we're gonna need a bunch of it. Good thing there are two forges. Cement, how much can you make? 2,000, okay. I think this is gonna be enough. So we're gonna need to make a bunch of crushed sand as well. I have some, but I don't know. Maybe we will need some more. But we need a bunch of stones too, so I need to preserve some stones. Oh my god, I have so much stuff. Sort. There we go. Thank god for that button. All right, concrete mix. 58, really? Why couldn't you give me that <laughs> one more? <laughs> Never mind, let's mix that. You know what, I just remembered something. I decimated all the trees around my base, so technically speaking, I'm out of wood. I don't want to go far away from my base just to get some wood. So I'm gonna be planting a bunch of maple trees. Good thing I got a bunch of seeds from my previous runs. On my previous Alpha 15 playthrough, we planted a bunch of trees around the base. And it's a cool thing to have, but it also gave me huge FPS drops because of it. This game is not so optimized. This time, we're going away from the base and find a nice flat spot and just make a large plantation that we can reap later when they mature. Hey guys! Yo! Hey! How's it going? Uh, do you know any flat spaces around here so I can plant my trees? Huh? What is that? I can't understand you. Come on! What is wrong with you? Oh my god! <laughs> Why am I playing with these goddamn zombies when they always infect me when I'm trying to play with them? God damn you! Uh, why did you have to hit me again? Come on, baby, just a few more steps. There we go. Oh, weed. This place looks flat enough. I think this is the place. Wait a second. What is that in the distance right there? Looks like some kind of a factory. Oh, no. Look at the compass in the upper part of the screen. That is a traitor. Yep, I'm pretty sure. You know what? Finishing the trap tower can wait. I need to go and see what this trader has for us. It's pretty close, so I don't think it will take much of our time. Oh my god, what kind of road is this? <laughs> Jesus, that's slow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at that road. Dude, I'm kinda glad I didn't make a new world, even though devs told us it would fix these world generation problems. Oh my god, a boar. Yes, I'm starving. For this, I need some special kind of ammo. Steel tip arrows. Oh, yes. Mm, yes, ah, so good. Now I'm at 28%. This is great. And I just need to chug a little bit of water. There we go. Good as new. Let's continue. Oh, for God's sake. Look at this decline. Oh, come on. Why didn't that just go down there in the first place? Now I have to break my legs and soul just to get down there. <sighs> All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, shit. No, no, no. No. What the fuck? I survived that. How? Dude, I was practically falling. <laughs> you know what? Don't ask. Don't ask. Just go with it. Alright, we are quite close, and I'm pretty sure that is a traitor. That cute little icon is still there. 
Um, Houston, we have another problem. How the hell do we climb this perfectly shaped dome? Should we try just jumping? I think that will work. Come on, you can do it. Yes, come on. Come on, dude, I know you can. Come on. Urgh, we got it. Ah, Trader Joe's. Journey to the settlement, quest completed. Nice, is it open? Unlocked, it is. Great. Okay, hello. Can I take these blueberries? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'll just gonna rob your ass. Oh, what do we have in here? A chemistry station. Great, but the question is, can we take it home? Of course we can't. God damn it. All right, trader, are you in here? Nope, this is just your home. I guess you're in this trader right here. All right, open up. Trader Jimmy, oh, you're my buddy. Hello there, how was it going? Do you have anything good for me, huh? Yeah, what do you want? All right, let's see what you have. Crossbow, black shirt, skirt, I'm sorry. Hmm, what else do you have? Mm, bar stool, all right. Lockers, a generator bank. Okay, but I have one at home. You have anything else? Gardening hoe, do you have any kind of a uh, insulator? Used to build electrical devices. Hmm, you don't have any solar panels or something? No? You sure? Oh, that's too bad. That's the only thing I came here for. Now, because we don't have any money anyway, is there something we can actually sell you? Short iron pipe. <clears throat> All right, let's sell you that. Some blueberry, nope, I'm not selling my blueberries. Electrical car, lead car battery, nope. Springs, I'll sell you, sell you some springs. Headlight, nope, I'm gonna save that for later so I can make some spotlights. Animal hides. I know you like animal hides. There we go. Feathers, I need that. Crushed sand, I definitely need that. Zero arrowheads. That's a nice price. I just remember something. I got a bunch of low quality pistols back at home that I can sell you later. So, I'll be back, Trader Jimmy. Just get the fuck out of here. Dude, don't you ever talk to me like that again. Are we clear? I'll take that as a yes. All right, good sir, I'll see you later. This actually feels like I'm in Game of Thrones and this is the Great Wall and I'm the White Walker, of course. <laughs> so since I got here without any problem, I don't think it will be problem to get up the same way. I just have to hug one of these walls and jump. Come on, you can do it, dude. Oh, there we go. Come on, you can do it. I know you can. Come on, baby. So close. Come on. No. <laughs> so close. No, 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 don't you dare fall down. Oh my god, no. I can't let W go. Um, I have to get my shovel fast. All right. No, god damn it, no. Ooh, all right, that was close. All right, where is my shovel? Oh, I've seen it. There I go, yes. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Am I good? Yes. I can rest my legs, finally. All right, let's get out of this godforsaken place. And there we go, the last tree. Finally, we got our plantation. Now these guys will grow up to be fine trees one day. Until then, let's go and finish our trap tower. One, two, three, four, five point four K of cement. I think that should be enough, but I need a bunch of stone, so I'll be taking cut out of both the forges. Come on, there we go. And let's go into our mixer and see how much concrete mix can we make. Oh, that's a nice, nice number. So we need more stones, look at that. We have crushed sand and cement. We need bunch of stones. Okay, you know what? Let's take all of the stone out of these forges. I understand my forges and torches make bunch of heat, but this makes no freaking sense. I get one screamer per minute. That is not normal. There, I can hear another one somewhere. There we go. Thank God for these pills, no more infection. So, we made about 500 concrete mix. So the first thing that should be on our list is to finish this platform right here. After all, next 7 day horde is really close and we need to think of functionality before looks. Now, as you can see, this platform is made out of half blocks. So we need to make a bunch of half blocks and connect it 
all the way down to that column right there beneath the stairs. Alright, don't fret, one step at a time. I just thought of idea. How about instead of making the entrance on one side like I did here, we make it in the middle. So that way zombies can climb from almost all sides. And that could fix the problem we were having back in Horde Day. I will have to sacrifice my shortcut to debase these ladders, but I could gain much more from that. Alright, I don't know what I just made, but this damn idea costed me whole damn night. Anyway, this is what I was telling you about guys, I had to sacrifice some of my platform because of this. But I didn't need much space in the first place, just a few blocks to place my turrets. So my new entrance looks like a pyramid, and now they can climb from all sides. I purposely made it like this so they can't get stuck underneath the stairs and break them. But on the other hand, they can break these stairs, which gets us back to square one. But we will figure something out. The one thing that I think is very cool is that these pillars, or beams to be more precise, when upgraded turn into reinforced concrete. And all that a cost of 10 concrete mix. Now that is what I call a good deal. Now if my first line of defense falls, there is always the second floor. And floors above. So on this floor, I think this one is quite straightforward. There's not a lot of space they can walk on, so I think I will place my platforms on this column and this one. Oh, it's a screamer! Finally! Oh, and the AI is working flawlessly this time. Look at that. This is what I was trying to do all this time. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Here. I'll end your misery. And like you can see, my platforms are doing their job as well. They can't get to me if I am on platform. They just fall down and repeat the process. Go up and fall down again. <laughs> they break their legs in the process too. Now just tell me that isn't brilliant. Oh wow. Two pistols? Was this screamer a gunslinger or something? What the f a bear? Really? That bear wasn't there before. What? When did he spawn? He never mind, you know what? I need as much meat as I can get my hands on. Let's see, is that a zombie bear or just a regular bear? I think it's just a regular bear. He's gonna die regularly. Come here. Yes, you. A bear. Oh, nope. <laughs> Good ol' Sneak bug, come here. Yes, he doesn't know where I'm even shooting from. Good for me. Yes, I got a bear. <laughs> Some hunter I am. This is one fine specimen. Look at those teats. That fur. That nose. Let's see how much pieces of me. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Let's see how much pieces of meat you can give us. All right, how many meat? Where is my damn meat? Um, animal hide, seven pieces of meat. And keep in mind that my bladed weapon skill is six, and I don't have any points in knife guy. Hmm, maybe I should put at least one point or something. How many? 55 points, whoa, okay, you know what? Let's go to that science tab right now. Electricity basics. What do we get by level 2? Silver dome light, fluorescent light, spotlight, speaker. I'm gonna buy that because it's only 3 points. Science, what else can we make? Mm, battery bank, we can't make that. And we need a blueprint for that. Science 4. Let's buy one science point. Oh, yes. Yes, some traps unlocked. So, electri electric fence post. I'm gonna buy that. Rain traps, dart trap. So I need science six now. Oh my goodness. All right, two points. Okay, what else can we buy? Switches, trigger, trigger plate. Hmm, I don't really need that at the moment. Melee traps, blade trap. Yes, rain trap, shotgun turret. Oh, I don't have any points. Oh my god. All right, I spent all my points on just science. I mean, in the end, I'm definitely gonna need all of that. 
the second floor is done. Time for the third one. And I think this one is even more obvious. It's half done, to be honest. I just have to put platform on this column. And yeah, on that column as well. It's done. Third floor is done. Time for the fourth floor. Fourth floor is done. <laughs> Time for the fifth floor. Oh my god. And this one needs a lot of work. Surprisingly, there are no platforms on this floor. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> Get dry, you damn concrete. Seven day horde is right around the corner. And I think that should be it. This is the final floor, the final frontier. And it's done. All that's left now is to cover this whole tower with some walls. And for that, I'm gonna need a lot of concrete. Wait a second, I think I remember I have a spot for one more platform right here. And this is my entrance to the base, so this will be my last frontier, definitely. And now all the platforms are done. Before we start putting walls on this tower, we need to start making some traps. What the hell is wrong with this wire? Shouldn't you be in this switch? No, never mind. Let's go into science tab. Wood spikes, blade trap. That's what I need. Used to chop up zombies into many pieces. Just add zombies and stir. Haha, <laughs> ice one. So I need forged iron, forged steel, mechanical parts, and electrical parts. Of course, we have everything for two blade traps. This is gonna be good. I just remembered something. We're gonna need a lot of wires. I mean, a lot of relays. Relay. Electrical wire relay to get the wires all the way down into the bottom of the tower. So we need some forged iron electrical parts, which we don't have anymore. Electrical parts. Electrical parts. Can we make that? We need insulator. Can we make insulator? Insulator. Oh, we can. Iron, glass, clay. Oh. Would you look at that? But it's made in forge. Insulator. God damn it, insulator. There we go. Tool and die set required, of course. God damn it. I don't have one. Everything just went into the drain. Wait a second. I can use these warehouse outdoor lights as my relays. Use the wiring tool to connect a power source to its light and should be able to turn on. I can use that definitely as my relays. Plus, I will get some light. And for this, all I need is some forged iron. Since our light relays were being made, I went around town in search for some electrical parts to make tripwires. To my surprise, I found two small engines and another car battery. This is exactly what we need, because using lights as relays will use up more watts than if we simply use wire relays. Hell yeah, back in business baby, 132 watts of max output power, and all the lights in this room use up 55 watts, so we have quite a lot to play with. Alright, are my lights done? It should be, 12 outdoor lights, perfect, blade trap, oh yeah I forgot to mention, I even managed to make the third one, trip wire post, 4, there we go. Now, it's time to take all of this and make our first line of defense. There we go, all wired up. Who said blade traps need to be on the floor? <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. There's the wire. Oh, wow, it's working, but it's only this one. What the hell? Oh, these two don't have any power. God damn it. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go and find another engine. Those lights use up all of my output power. Alright, I'll be right back. 514 quality small engine. This bad mechanic perk really pays off. All right, stop. There you go. Now I have 224 max output power. Now that should be enough. I also forgot to mention, out of all these car disassembling run, look how much batteries I got. And they are all of very good quality, except this one. <laughs> these guys will make a fine battery bank one day. I just need that damn blueprint. Now here comes the moment we all have been waiting for. Ah yes, it's working. Oh, 
Wait a second, I forgot to do something. These wire posts, they have these power delays and power durations. Let's put that about 10 seconds. That should be enough to dismember them all. Take two, this is the moment we all have been waiting for. Yes, go on, you can do it. Nice. <laughs> this resembles real trap. Now all we have to do is wait for a screamer. Oh, look at that. She already came. Perfect. Hey, damn screamer. Come here. Are you shitting me? I didn't thought I would hit that. I guess I would hit that. All right. Yes, scream. Summon all of them zombies. All right, guys. Come here. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on, yes. Don't, don't hit my traps. Yes, yes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> Never mind, look at that dude. He's totally fucked. <laughs> and he didn't die. <laughs> there goes the screamer. Bye bye. Whoa, hello. All right, glad to see the AI working, but the traps, they aren't doing much work. I killed a bunch of them right here. I mean, they were dismembered, but still, they didn't die. Hey, what are you doing? You know what? I think I should move the timer like to 20, 25 seconds. Look at that. What happened? Why didn't the traps activate? Oh, that's why. They broke my damn trap wire. Ah, they're so easy to break. All right, I need to do something about this. Power duration, 30 seconds. That should be enough. Now, where are those damn screamers when you need them? Okay. <laughs> uh, where the hell are those damn zombies? Oh, another one, great. Okay. What? This one is alive! <laughs> I'm totally mind blown! This trap doesn't even kill them! Oh, I, now I get it! Oh shit, wait a second. We need to deal with these zombies first, then we will talk. Alright, so, so she will scream all the time. That's good. Hello. Oh, hey, hello, how's it going? Oh, look at them. Okay. Oh my god, it's lagging. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shit, they're coming this way. Come here. Yes, yes. Go back. Oh my god, what did I do? I'm a monster. <laughs> Look at this. She doesn't have any legs, any arms. It's just torso. <laughs> but it's going somewhere. Happening. <laughs> what? What? She's alive, but she can't move a damn muscle. Look at that. Holy crap. Fun pimps, you really need to do something about this. Holy shit, there's another one alive. <laughs> yeah. Great. I mean, it does work to some extent. Like I said, it's my first line of defense. Oh, they break the stairs quite a lot. I should definitely upgrade them to concrete later. But I will leave that for some other episode. That is all for this one. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate if you leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to support the channel even further, Patreon link is in the description. That is all from me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.